There's an old nautical joke where some crusty captain will ask if you know the definition of a boat. When you start giving some technical explanation, he'll cut you off and tell you a boat is a hole in the water you throw money into. Silent Yachts was founded with a vision of significantly reduced cost of yacht ownership to explore the ocean in sustainable luxury through innovative clean technology. The first and only ocean-going production yachts in the world which are powered by solar energy, Silent Yachts unlock the possibility of unlimited range, almost zero emissions, and greatly reduced maintenance requirements. Noiseless and self-sufficient, all energy production is done on board, from propulsion to navigation and even the household equipment. Everything is powered by the sun. The solar electric drivetrain means an absence of vibration, noise, and smell, and provides total self-sufficiency. But what most yachtsmen are interested in is avoiding the marine fuel station. At a 2,000 RPM cruise, an average 55-foot yacht will burn roughly 57 gallons of fuel per hour. That means, on an 89-mile cruise from Miami to the Bahamas, it will cost you about $750 in fuel. On board a silent yacht, the power is provided by photons from the sun, collected by solar panels, and stored in lithium batteries. We got the opportunity to hop on the latest Silent 55 e-catamaran and got a tour of its innovative features. Hello, I'm Jean-Marc Zani. I am the uh, technical director for Silent Yacht and the uh, owner of uh, Sirius Power. We design all the hybrid system for Silent Yacht. So this is the uh, Silent Yacht 55. This is number six. Uh, we just delivered it in the US. This is the first one in the US. The solar roof designed from the ground up as a, sol a solar boat. So we have a solar roof with 30 solar panels on, on top. Uh, those are sun power solar panels. They are 23% uh, efficiency, 360 watt each. So we have a total of uh, about 10 kilowatts of solar panel on the roof. On a sunny day, we can collect it. <laughs> we have three battery packs, uh, one, two, and three. Each of those battery packs is uh, 70 kilowatt hours. So it's a Tesla for each pack. So we have 210 kilowatt hours of uh, energy. When you add anchor, we can live off those batteries for a very long period of time, three or four days with, with, uh, without sun. But the sun will cover most of our usage all the time. So that's we, we very neutral on that. Uh, it's become a bit more difficult with the propulsion if you go fast. Then you need to have, that's why we have the range extender, because you, you can go uh, for a much longer period. But for you can go at six knots, you can go 60 miles under electric power. So here's the uh, electric motor. So this is a motor uh, made by a, uh, a TM4. Uh, it is a bus uh, motor. It is a 150 kilowatt continuous electric motor at uh, 1500 RPM, so he has uh, 5000 Newton of maximum torque, uh, Newton meters of torque. Yeah, it's an electric motor, it's perfectly silent, so uh, the advantage is we can uh, use a, a straight shaft, it's a direct shaft, there's no gearbox, there's nothing, I mean, there's a thrust bearing because we have to absor absorb the, the propeller thrust, but there are no reduction, no gearing. And this motor is really two motors in, in, in one, a permanent magnet motor, so it's highly efficient. We have 96% uh, efficiency at the uh, top of the, um, the power. Top speed on the boat is 17 knots. We would not go 17 knots to the Bahamas. So the uh, batteries are not full yet, so we are still uh, pushing the energy into the uh, 24 volt battery. Until the battery, 24 volt battery is full, we are not exporting the energy into the high voltage battery. So you have here one battery bank of 14 cells. Uh, those batteries are uh, air cooled, the 18650s um, lithium uh, ion batteries, so Tesla like, Panasonic uh, like the Teslas. I mean, a pre standard uh, nav station for a boat with the uh, standard application. You have thrusters. You have regular navigation uh, tools, but it is what is the main uh, display for the uh, hybrid system. That system is the energy management for the boat. Uh, it shows currently that the uh, battery is at 86% uh, state of charge, with discharging about one, or in fact, even less than one kilowatt uh, of power. 
um, and then uh, the, the rest is pretty off. We had anchor, so we, we're not moving. The advantage of the electric boat is that we have a, all the comfort of home. We have a full-size fridge. We have a multifunction uh, oven, so it's a microwave convection oven. We have a dishwasher, and we have a five-burner uh, induction plate. Uh, we even have a washing machine. Okay. So this is the uh, VIP cabin. Just uh, double bed and uh, full size bathroom. So, in the front is a master cabin, that's also one of the uh, feature design of the, this boat. You have a lot of headroom and you have a full queen size bed. So what would a transatlantic journey in this craft look like? Would you have to stop and recharge or are you recharging the batteries while you're moving and no, using the motor? No, you have to adopt, adapt your speed to match your, your, your solar production. And when it's too slow, like when the 64 went across the Atlantic, um, at one point, effectively, it was like love clouds, so they didn't have much power. So they use a bit of the generator to help them uh, propulse f f through those days. But uh, that's a very small quantity of, of uh, fuel for the overall transatlantic crossing. Um, they they would they did not have enough fuel anyway to go across the Atlantic. That was not the, the goal. It's all solar panel. So that would be the same. It would be a slow going. Uh, average speed is, would be below five knots, so you have to like going slow. The Silent 55 comes in three configurations. The standard cruiser with two 30 kilowatt motors, all electric. The e-power with two 250 kilowatt motors and more powerful battery banks which allow for higher speeds. And a hybrid power version which comes equipped with two 14 kilowatt motors and two additional 220 horsepower diesel engines that allow for a top speed over 20 knots. There's also an optional addition for a fully automatic high altitude kite system, as well as an option for a traditional sail to complement electric propulsion. The 55, originally the, that boat, the hull, was a sailboat a hull. So there is on the book a, a sailboat version of, of, of this, this one which makes absolutely no sense as far as a solar boat because you have to remove two thirds of the panel and the other third is covered by the shade of the sail. So it's not really working very well as a solar boat, but it works as a, a sailboat. And kite option is definitely a much better option. And we were talking about long range going very far. Uh, that would be the perfect option because now you have an extra mean to get your power uh, to move the boat. Um, and those are uh, fully automated uh, kites, you just uh, get, let, get them going and they uh, fly themselves. In addition, Silent Yachts also produces a Silent 60, Silent 80, and Silent 80 tri-deck model. And what's the price on something like that with the helicopter pad and everything? Those starts at 4 million euros. 4 million euros. What kind of maintenance is required compared to a regular combustion powered boat? Uh, almost none. Uh, the electric motors have, uh, have no maintenance, there's two bearings and the life expectancy of those bearings is 100,000 hours, so we certainly do not expect anything. They are water cooled, so we have a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger requires anodes for limit, to limit the corrosion, they need to be changed. That's about it. So it's a very simple compared to any other boat, there's no oil change bigger problem with boats uh, as opposed to cars. Car use a lot of torque to accelerate but once they're running they use less a lot less energy to keep going. They only have to overcome the, the windage uh, and uh, the, the tire resistance. The boats is a totally different uh, scenario. You need the energy all the time. You need to displace the water so you, you can cut through it. 
So you, you, unlike the uh, cars, you don't have those spike of torques and then uh, low, uh, low energy. You go up in torque and you stay at the torque all the, all the time. So you use a lot, a lot more energy than you would use on a car. And this is basically your standard nav tower. We have a radar, there is a uh, TV receiver, a uh, clear uh, camera for night vision, GPSs, and standard uh, boat equipment. So that is the uh, actual generator. Uh, it is a uh, 100 kilowatt generator. So what do you use the generator for? As a range extender, okay. Um, the uh, Solar panels, we have 10 kilowatts of solar panel. The boat at 10 kilowatt does about five knots. Your solar speed is about five knots. But if you want to go faster, you need to use a battery and you need to recharge your batteries. And if you do extended cruising, then you're going to need the generator to uh, supplement your power. The price for the Silent 55 Cruiser Edition starts at around 1.5 million euros, or 1.62 million dollars, depending on the configuration. As electric power is transforming the automotive world, with EV adoption rates growing at about 60% each year, Silent Yachts is poised to ride the wave of technological advancements in motor efficiency and improvements in battery storage technology. Silent Yachts might just be an early entrant in an entirely new category of electric yachting, oft attempted, but rarely pulled off so gracefully in a fully functional, production-ready catamaran that's gorgeous inside and out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel so we can have an excuse to do more cool stuff like hanging out on a solar-powered yacht for the day. Let us know what you think about silent yachts in the comments below. Here at Electric Future, we showcase the best cutting-edge technology, including electric vehicles, solar power, and green energy, and a lot of Tesla. We'll let you finish up this interior tour of the Silent 55. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.